Lumos. Hello, everyone. Welcome back um, to my soft spoken Ravenclaw gameplay um, of Hogwarts Legacy. And, well, in the last time, there was quite a lot going on. Dragon um, trying to kill us in our carriage, agent mysteries being revealed to us. And, but right now, we just find ourselves in the comfort of our common room, finally, because we just arrived at Hogwarts, got sorted into Ravenclaw, and I think we are, I think we are meant to go outside and meet some of our colleagues, but first I just want to have a good look on, on the details of everything here. Appleby Arrows. 16, 12, okay, um, over here we have some tea, always good to have a, a, a nice cup of tea in the morning, so can I do that? Mm. Alright, not what I was trying to do, but, oh, and we can also shave in here. Some shaving equipment and a mirror, which I can see myself in. <laughs> nice. I like the fact that the beds are like this on top of each other. And then we have a desk here, um, a wardrobe, cabinet, some astronomy equipment, and that's pretty much it. Some nice tapestry as well. Um, everything looks very, very, very pretty. So but let's walk outside now. And we are going to have a good look on our common room for the first time ever. So. Oh, it's already looking really good. Oh god, look at the look at the ceiling. It's looking very very pretty. <laughs> this should be interesting. And over here I have someone to talk I to. Suppose some introductions are in order. Okay, let's introduce ourselves to Everett. Everett, is that your name? A fellow <laughs> Ravenclaw. This should be interesting. What are you looking at? Oh, what are you up to? One moment! Watch this! Ugh. What is this? Someone threw a dumb box. <coughs> oh, come on. That wasn't quite the reaction I wanted. Oh well. Right. What did you hope would happen? I suppose I hoped it would lighten the mood. Ravenclaws can be a bit on edge the first day of class. I'm Everett, by the way. You seem downright calm next to some of these characters. And you survived a rather harrowing trip here. I'm looking forward to my first day. I'm actually a, a tad nervous. Well, I'm, I'm just mostly looking forward for my first day. I'm glad to be here. Ready for classes to start. Good. Glad to hear it. Truly, there's no reason to be nervous. Most professors are firm, but fair. I mean, not all of the tricks I play are as simple as a tossed dung bomb, and I'm still here. Wait, did you say most professors are firm, but fair? Ha, <laughs> I did. But probably best I let you judge for yourself. I do tend to push their limits. I should wander off before someone traces that dung bomb back to me. <laughs> nice meeting you. You too, Everett. Okay, um, he's up to no good. Quite, quite, quite the idea to throw a, a dung bomb to lighten the mood. Where did he get that idea from? Must be a different way to know. Starting so many conversations in here. I don't want to pay attention to them. Mm, that's not right There's either. Like to be honest, anything I could get in Diagon Alley this year. I was able to find in so cool to overhear their conversations like this. 
What are you two talking about? Are you talking at all? I don't think they are talking anymore. I'm not sure this is the right spot. Okay, let's let's meet another Ravenclaw. What's your name, Samantha? I want him to be in the perfect place, a place he'll be happy with. But I can't seem to find it. Great golden gobstones! I want him to thrive here. Golden gobstones? <laughs> My own little expression. I bought this Dittany seedling from home and I so want him to feel cozy. Dittany is amazing, isn't it? So much healing power in such a little plant. <laughs> I've a bit of a thing for plants, as you can see. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I'm Samantha. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Is Dittany used in Wiganwell potion? It is. Looks like someone's been studying up on their potion making. Actually, Professor Fig told me about the Wiganwell potion. Of course. I heard you were studying with him before term. He's an enigma, Fig. Teaches about theory, yet seems to know a lot about practical magic. He's quite knowledgeable. I wouldn't really know. Um... I mean, I don't want to reveal too much. Fig kind of asked us to just remain sort of quiet about everything. But I'm gonna give him some credit. He's quite knowledgeable. Professor Fig does know a great deal about, um... No! ...different forms of magic. Don't say well, that. Well, I hope he told you about more than Wiganweld. You've lots to catch up on, I'm sure. I do have. Um, isn't Hufflepuffs who like plants? Everyone can like plants, come on. <laughs> Do most students grow their own ingredients? Well, let's just, let's just check out what she has to say. An affinity for herbology is more typical of a Hufflepuff than a Ravenclaw, isn't it? Ordinarily, perhaps. But it runs in my family. We've a full plot of these little fellows back home. I suppose you could say herbology is in my roots. <laughs> okay, yeah. That's a good way to... To say it so and and do most students grow their own ingredients is it common practice for students to grow their own ingredients oh yes in fact our herbology teacher professor garlic encourages it and i don't think professor sharp our potions master cares where you get your ingredients as long as your brews are all perfect hmm. so um nice talking with you it was nice to meet you samantha good luck with your dittany thank you and good luck to you too on your first day. All right. Um. So, let's have a let's have a look. Another look around. There's someone else. Yeah. There's one more person for us to talk to. Let me just check out all of the details. I like the ceiling. Well, I woke up to one. It's Maybe kind of st starry. I thought it would be hard to as it's supposed to be. I thought they would probably make something sort of like an enchanted ceiling, but I think they went for a more realistic, if you will, approach. Um, so yeah. Oh, let me not forget to swish the little things. Doesn't give me any experience points or anything, but yeah. Deep breath. And. A mitt, a mitt. What are you checking out there? Not stars, surely, middle of the day. Why, hello! Would you like to take a look? Is it going to burn my eyes to look straight at the sun like this? Can't see too much in the day. Well, except for stars like Sirius, Canopus, Vega, and Arcturus. I'm Amit. Pleasure to have you in Ravenclaw. Never met someone who's been so close to a dragon before. Can't say I'd recommend it, frankly. <laughs> it's nice to meet you, Amit. I take it you like astronomy. Oh, yes. So much to be learned from the stars. Also, there's something about the open air and night sky above the tower. It's invigorating. You will adore astronomy. Professor Shah is incredibly knowledgeable. I find the stars fascinating. I've never been one for stargazing. Ah, I, this is difficult. It's a difficult one. I don't think there's much importance in what I choose here. 
but I do, I do like stars, but I'm not much of a stargazing person. Um, so which one is more true? I think I've never been much of a stargazing. I'm afraid I'm not much for memorizing constellations. Enough to worry about on the ground. Well, you should know that all fifth years must take astronomy. However, I think you will feel differently after one night up on the tower. A quality telescope can show you things you never dreamed of. I suppose I'll see you in class then. Yes. Oh, and speaking of class, better get to my first one of the year. Nothing like the smell of fresh parchment, is there? Be seeing you. Hey there, new Ravenclaw. Professor Weasley is looking for you just outside. Hmm? She would best not keep her waiting. Professor Weasley looking for me? That's what he said. He's someone was talking to me, wasn't he? Okay. So let me just check out some more details here in the common room. A painting table? Is that it? It looks like a painting of Hogwarts in there. Yes, it surely is. And, and a, a drawing of the Allery. It seems like uh, like the official artwork for Hogwarts in there. I think it's a little easter egg some sort what about you oh hold on a minute have you did you notice the the bust is 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 staring at me yeah he moves as i walk okay a bit creepy can i get another apple let's get another one great And over here it's blocked. Oh, I know why. It's the it's the girls. It's the girls dormitory. Okay. But what about upstairs? What if I go upstairs? Let's have, let's have a look. Hmm, there's another area in here. And here we have some more Quidditch. Posters, which I know now. The Chudley Cannons, okay. Is that the same one? Is that the one that Ron used to like? And look who we have here. Is it you? Is it you, uh, Helena? Helen? What are you, you staring at over there? It's the ghost of Ravenclaw. Okay. And over here we have some sort of another common area to this. Just sit, read a book, pass the hours. Is that it? Hmm. Over here is quite quite full of people. What are you doing? Playing some... Is it gobstones? Is that how I, I say it? Gobstones? I think those are the gobstones. I wish they'd allow us our pets from home. We have a crop called mange. Transfiguration's far too difficult for me. Much prefer potions. I like to have a recipe to follow. Mm -hmm. I managed to conjure a hedgehog once. But it disappeared after a few minutes. I can play the piano. Okay. But that plus the, the background music is just really confusing right now. I hope it stops playing. <laughs> it's just a mess. What, what have I done? Okay. Going up here, do we have a sort of private view to the stars no level one lock okay i need to learn how to unlock doors and chests soon probably in charms we'll we'll learn alohomora and let me run away from the piano because it's unbearable to listen to the two music 
playing at the same time. And then here we have... What are you? I think it's one of those flu powder things. I know there's going to be a fast travel kind of thing. All the gossip. They're already gossiping about me, even. Okay. Well, well. Good to know that Hogwarts is still the same. Extremely safe and with lots of gossiping people. Wonderful. Let's go down here. Oh, Professor Weasley. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the Headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. And what is this now? A book? Okay. <laughs> Just a bit of spectacle for the eyes. Everything needs to be exaggerated for wizards. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. Field guide, okay. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. I will. I will for sure. Thank you, Professor, but... What do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. It's like Alexa spying on you. It's, it's, it's like that. It's just like the government does, but this time it will be the teachers. <laughs> the guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. And there's the entrance to our common room. And just a little area in here for something. Not quite sure for for what, but okay. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Why don't you cast Revelio on this bust and see what details the field guide can provide? Okay, Revelio. Field guide page collect. Ravenclaw bust. Um, this bust created in honor of Ravenclaw Hall House resides in the lofty Ravenclaw Tower. Okay, that didn't explain much. Didn't say who it was. But okay, you unlocked a few guide challenge. Your progress towards completing challenges appears here. Collect few page, a few guide pages in Hogwarts, one out of two. Open the field guide. See your wizarding level. Okay, I'm level one. <laughs> These are your challenges. Combat, quests, exploration, field guide pages, room of requirements. Okay. And. Okay. So once I collect two field guide pages, I'm gonna get some glasses. Fine. Awesome. Clever, isn't it? 
Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. I will, for sure. We're just going down the Ravenclaw Tower. No time to waste. You've classes to attend. Okay. No, no hurry. No hurry. And I like how the portraits move. Is he going to move? She? She's going to move? She has a... A niffler in there. Lumos. Ah, uh, I think she's not going to move now. Just because I've said something. It's the secret door here. What's this? Reveal. Oh, it's a puzzle thing. It's a puzzle. Uh, okay, no, I'm... I'm gonna go back to these things later on. 